In 2012, Widget worked with the British Science Association to develop a pack of science materials for people with language difficulties so that they could take part effectively in interesting and useful science. The project is called Super Science and can be downloaded free from the BSA website. There is also a clear link from the Symbol Resources section of the Widget website. We devised six experiments, two longer investigations and one group activity. These were based partly on the larger pack that the BSA had developed for more able students and partly on material that Widget devised especially for this purpose. There are two downloads on the BSA website. One is for teachers and gives practical help such as where to get equipment from, which is mainly Amazon, and also support for the non-science teacher to help them do the experiments and understand any background science that they're not already familiar with. In this video, we will first show you two of the experiments and some of the student materials that are available. Then you will see how a SimWriter 2 environment can be used to enable a student with language difficulties to write up one of those experiments. And thirdly, we will show how the write-up can be published on the web for parents and friends to see. This uses SimWriter Online, which is its new online symbol writing tool. The first experiment is called Invisible Treacle, and simple materials can be obtained from the local DIY and Amazon. This screen shows the first pages of the student worksheets. This is the Invisible Treacle experiment. It uses a piece of ordinary plumber's 22mm copper tube, five cylindrical magnets, or fewer, it doesn't really matter, those are obtainable from Amazon, and some object that's similar in shape. I've just got a piece of wooden down here that's similar in shape to the magnets. It's important to realise that the results of this experiment and not to do with the copper being magnetic. It's easy to see that the magnets don't stick to the copper in any way at all. To do the experiment, you hold the copper tube loosely between thumb and forefinger so that it hangs as near vertically as possible. We start with the wooden dowel and drop it through the tube. You'll hear the click on the paper as it hits the paper very soon after I release it. It's falling at just the same rate as you would expect. Here goes. Now. And there was the, the click on the paper. If the wooden dowel falls exactly the same as it would whether it was falling through the copper tube or not. Not the same, however, with the magnets. If we hold the magnets there, we go. A much, much slower fall through the paper. The effect of this is very interesting, quite a slow effect on the magnets. The students can try it with different numbers of magnets and see the effect that that has. They can try it with different objects to see if other objects behave as the magnets do. We've tried to give a very simple explanation of this for the students and a little bit more detail in the teacher's explanation. In the student notes, there are some suggestions to extend the activities, some flashcards to help any write-up, and a very basic explanation of the science. We tried in these explanations to be sure to say nothing that would be inconsistent with a later fuller explanation that the student may come across. There is also a fuller explanation in the teacher's notes. The second experiment is called Noisy Cutlery and is easy to do using materials in the home or at school. We will later show how a SimWriter environment can be used to write up this particular experiment. In the noisy cutlery experiment, students are asked to take several pieces of common or garden cutlery, a fork, a spoon, a plastic fork and a plastic spoon, and fasten them to a piece of string. The first thing they need to do is to just knock the cutlery 
against a hard object. Here it's a chair, it could be a table, a desk, anything, it doesn't really matter. And listen to the sound that it makes. Really quite an unexciting sound. A sort of clomp from the chair and a bit of a ring from the fork. They're now asked to do that for each piece of cutlery. And there's a second part of the experiment to put their fingers in their ears with the string wrapped around their fingers like this and then bend their heads so that they can knock it against the hard object whilst their fingers are in their ears. Just like this. And I think most students will be quite surprised at the dramatic difference that that makes the sound. Then asked to record the relative sounds of each of the objects that they choose. And then, as we'll see shortly, there's a simulator environment where they can write up their findings and record the relative sounds as a document. There is a ready-made environment for SimWriter 2 that you can download from the widget website. You can make selections and hear your results as you write. Noisy cutlery. And I could put in my name if I wish. First, I found the equipment. Equipment. String, cello tape, metal spoon, etc. The experiment. I cut a piece of string. And if I make the wrong choice, I get feedback. 30 centimeters long. That's not right. As long as an arm. And the steps of the experiment are built up through successive grids. And finally, we have a data sheet that allows us to write the results for all of the experiment. As well as saving the document in the usual way, if I have a SimWriter Online account, I can save directly to that from my SimWriter 2 environment. I can now leave SimWriter 2 and I can open my SimWriter Online account and this can be on any machine with a browser. It doesn't need to have SimWriter 2 installed. And navigate to the Science folder where I save my file and here I can see my file Noisy Cutlery. I have the options to view the document, perhaps to edit it online, to view it as a PDF for printing, or if I'm on another machine that has SimWriter 2 installed, I could download the SimWriter document to carry on writing at a desktop. But I want to publish this document to be able to share it with other people who don't have SimWriter and don't have a SimWriter Online account. So I have now published my document, and if I go to my published files, I can see it listed in the files that are available for anybody else to see. And I can give the URL of that to anybody to open through their browser. Here we have an iPad running Safari. We've put in the URL of the published document and then straight away we see the document in our web browser. You don't need a SimWriter Online account to do this anyone can do it in their web browser. You can see that you can scroll through the document. Here's the results at the end where the student put in the various numbers according to the loudness of sound. You can even make it speak. 
Noisy cutlery. It will highlight as it speaks. First I found the equipment. Sentence at a time. And you can, if you wish, print the document, but you will need an air printer or an air printer equivalent as normal for an iPad. An iPad needs that in order to print. So, in this video, we have seen how symbols can really help in providing the broad curriculum to students with language difficulties. Here we have shown science, but the ideas are equally applicable to other curriculum areas. Using the symbol support of writing environments in SimWriter 2, the students can write up their work. And for schools that have a SimWriter online account, the students' work can be made public so that relatives and friends can see what they have done.